unfortunately you're not most people. So for you, there's a chance to clear a path through the muck of the world and see ahead to the deep truth of things. Which is why we spent the last year strengthening your minds with the same tools used by some of the best brains in history. Descartes, Newton, Wittgenstein, to explore in the imagination what they were constrained from exploring in the physical world. Do we feel like recapping some of our favorite thought experiments? Infinite monkey theorem? The infinite monkey theorem, the classic way to wrap your head around the concept of infinity. Which is so endless that if you put a monkey at a typewriter and let him bang away at it forever, he'll eventually, almost surely, completely randomly type out the entire play of Hamlet, word for word. I mean, the odds are nanoscale that he's gonna hit all the right keys in a row on any given day, but over the stretch of eternity, across time without any limit, every event has some actual mathematical probability of really happening. Who else? I like the trolley problem. An out of control trolley car is speeding towards five people tied to a track. But you can pull a lever and make the trolley swerve onto another track where only one person's gonna get run down. Should you do it? If you're being utilitarian about it, you can argue that you did the right thing, letting one person die to save five. But what if the situation was slightly different? This time, there's no lever to make the trolley swerve, but there's an obese man standing next to the track and you calculate that he weighs just enough to derail the trolley. Do you push him in front of it? Absolutely not. How's it less acceptable than the first version? You're still sacrificing one person to save five. They're both wrong. Don't be fooled by the arithmetic. It's murder, either way. Anyone else?